Welcome to my 300 subs special. Here joining me is my old friend, Moonstruck Man. Hey, Zubza. Hey, Moonstruck Man. So, what's up? Well, now that people know how to make a Little Cup Pokemon, I thought I'd follow that up and help them make a team. Sounds fun. I'm game. Alright, first question. What's your favorite Little Cup Pokemon? Why? We're going to base your team around it. Oh, alright. Well, I haven't played since Gen 1, but I have to say my favorite Little Cup Pokemon, probably Abra. That's a great choice, since Abra is one of the premier threats to Little Cup. So Abra's weaknesses are Dark, Ghost, and Bug. So we need teammates that'll cover its weaknesses. But because it's an Abra, after all, we can't expect it to cover for anyone else. Well, that's bull. I don't know what resists those. A Steel-type should. Let's look into that. From Smogon's threat list, Steel-types that come up are Bronzor, Ferroseed, Magnemite, and Ponyard. Not Bronzor. That thing looks like a 6th grade science project. And that Ponyard thing looks like a chess piece. Magnemite's from Gen 1. How about that? Alright. Let's look at this online tool from Maryland.com. As you can see, after I added Magnemite and Abra, this team has a couple weaknesses without resistances. That's bad, right? Yeah, but it's not too bad. We just need to find Pokémon that cover those weaknesses. For instance, Mantite covers that last resistance you need to fire, and immunity to ground. Oh cool, so all the weaknesses are gone. Yeah, but you need three more Pokémon for the team, and it's always a good idea to have two resistances for each weakness. So, what do I add? Well, usually you need one defensive wall, one special wall, and at least two sweepers. Any of which should have a Pokemon with rapid spin and access to entry hazards. What? Two pokes to attack, and two to defend, and any of them that do indirect damage and get rid of your indirect damage. Oh, alright, alright, alright. So, what's another Little Cup Pokemon you like? Well, I like Tatini. Alright, let's add it. It doesn't change much, but it looks like I have more weaknesses. That happens naturally when you add Pokemon to the team. But most of the weaknesses that were added are already covered by your team. Keep in mind, you can't count a Psychic and Fighting Resistance, because Abra can't really take any hits. So now it's just a matter of adding to those resistances. The only problem is Steel is the only thing that resists Dragon. So you'll need another Steel-type. Alright, so what? So, look what happens when I add this Pawniard. The chess piece? Yeah... Oh, shoot. Another Fire Weakness. But I should be okay, right? I mean, I have two Fire Resistances. Yeah, it should be fine. And although it'll give you another fire weakness, I'd recommend Pineco. I guess it's okay, it just means I gotta play better. But on the upside, all my weaknesses have two resistances. Yep, and now you're ready to build your own team. Cool, so where do I start? Go watch my previous video, then come back. Fine. Alright, so I watched it, and I made a team. So now what? Now we test it out. Huh?
Well, that sucks. Don't worry, you'll get better. Although you should work on your movesets a bit more. Noted. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Zabza. Later, Moonstruck Man. Maybe I'll cover a moveset next time. Well, thank you for all your support, guys, and all your views. I couldn't be here without you. I hope you all enjoyed that video, and have a great day.